Okay. Uh, hopefully, hopefully this stays stable. Um, <laughs> it's already it's crashed a few times. Uh, yeah, it's crashed a few times already trying to get this set up, but um, we'll see. Uh, it's mainly just because I'm eating a lot of RAM right now, but uh, yeah, hopefully it doesn't crash and we can just do what we're here to do. Uh, so anyway, uh, it's Golden Week stuff, and that's pretty cool, so we get to uh, move this slightly. Don't crash, don't crash. Okay. <laughs> kind of like, pray it doesn't crash at everything. Let's see. Uh, yeah, so hopefully that's fine. Uh, okay, yeah. So I've got the, uh, I've even got like the task manager on the side, just monitoring all the, uh, <laughs> all the, the stuff, hopefully. I mean, not that looking at it will help at all, but certainly, um, hopefully be more than nothing. Um, but yeah, so let's, uh, Let's get in here. So let's let's talk about every banner as we go through, um, like like usual here. Uh, if we look here and we take a look at the um, the legendary banner, which is, you know, funnily enough, they all came out in the same area. Uh, the only thing I'd want here would be from red. So for blue, um, both Krom and uh, Selena. While Selena, I'd like a copy of her just because I like Selena. Um, Krom, I really don't care for, and. Uh, Again, a copy of Saros would be nice, but it's not worth <laughs> summoning for that um, because this blue isn't very worthwhile. Uh, green is probably the worst one here for me because I don't uh, want any more. I don't want any Thrasers necessarily. I mean, she wouldn't hurt, but I'm not gonna summon for Thrasir. Uh, Celica, uh, I like Celica. I like this version of Celica. She's really cool, uh, but you know, again, summoning for merges of her isn't really worthwhile, and then he doesn't have any fodder worth anything either. Um, so you can see why, you know, it's not that big a deal. Now, uh, Colorless has air on it, which again, air is like the only one. Uh, merges on Duma, and eh, I really don't care. And, uh, she only has, uh, attack speed push for, which you can get it in better places and not waste so many orbs. So, none of these colors are worthwhile except for red. Um, while I don't want, uh, Holy Sigurd or whatever, uh, he's got Fatal Smoke, so that's good fodder. <sighs> Uh, she's got, I mean, just another copy of Mirabilis would be nice. Uh, and then she's got, uh, Pulse Smoke and Red Solo, I guess. Uh, so, you know, Red, out of all of them, Red probably be the best one to summon, which, you know, incidentally is what we're gonna summon for. Now uh, we're just gonna use our free summon here and, and pull on Red and see if we get anything. And uh, we got nothing. Um, so, I mean, it was kind of to be expected, like I said. Just wanted to burn our free summon on here. Uh, we'll stop here. Uh, so let's come over here and let's so, so we've got all these tickets here um i'm just gonna i was just gonna pull them all that's like what six by four is 24 summons so that's not too bad um let's see so let's let's kind of go in order of like i don't know i don't know we'll just start with the first one um here i have like four copies of bike uh, I don't really want any more bikes. Um, Legendary uh, Brave Roy is kind of garbage. Uh, she's actually pretty good, and I do have her at a plus four, and more merges would be nice, but I'm not going to get her to plus ten. I'm just going to summon a few and see if I pull her. And I already got one of her, and she really isn't that useful as at merges. Uh, what's useful about her is her refine, so we're just going to, you know, not really care too much about her. Um, like I said, I already have one, and I don't really use her to help anyone anyway, um, just because, like, who would I... Like, the kind of people I would kind of uh, pair her up with would be someone like a Vector, but he's already got Special Fighter, so that's not that big a deal. Um, you know, something like, uh, what's her name, Felicia, or, or just one of my CC Vantage units, but I don't have space to have it kind of wasted on her when I've got other units who can pull so much more duty. Um, so that's that. So yeah, we're going to be pulling on this, hoping for Colorless. Uh, if, if no Colorless, we'll be pulling on Green, not necessarily for Vector, but... Um, for Echidna merges, so. Oh, that's that. Uh, as you can see here, my orbs are kind of depleted after we lost about, I don't know, what, 500 of them to um, trying to get Tibarn and ended up with a plus six uh, Lin, Ninja Lin. Though, I mean, I don't say that to be salty or anything like that. Um, 
I'm actually a lot grateful, a lot more grateful now that I've been using her and I've been using her in content and stuff. Um, I'm, I'm kind of like happy that I got her, but I'm kind of like annoyed because it's like she just kind of trivializes so much of the game. She, like, I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh, you know, this game is pay to win or whatever and, and complain in, in, in that space. But like if a unit were to be kind of pay to win, I, I feel like it would just be <laughs> uh, Linja. Um, yeah, there's just not a whole lot you can do to that. But I mean, like I said, it's not like she's breaking the game or she's like, you know, destroying the balance or anything like that. Um, I'm just not the biggest fan of her. Hey, you know what? I was looking at Faye and, you know, Tacho calls her Fa. Uh, but I was looking at Faye and I was like, oh, I actually kind of want to make her Faye. Uh, you know, plus 10 her eventually at some point. That'd be pretty cool. Um, but then I realized I only have three. So I only have a plus like two Faye right now, which is kind of annoying. So more copies of her uh, is always better. I'm taking the, the defense boon because it's a super boon and just because, you know, tankiness, I guess. You know, she, attack isn't going to help her and speed isn't going to help her and res. I mean, res would be good, but if she's got a super boon in defense, I mean, may as well, right? Uh, let's stop. So there we go. I forgot about that. I need Fa merges or Fae merges, uh, Echidna merges, and yeah. So green isn't so bad. It's certainly a lot better than um, than some other colors. Like, there's nothing I need from red. Other than like a, a brave Celica, so we'll leave this one for last. Um, let's pull on this one. So what do I need from here? What I need from here is copies of Brave Micaiah, because Brave Micaiah is the one I actually used quite a bit. Again, we're not gonna spend orbs on here. I'm just gonna kind of pull. Uh, if we don't get Brave Micaiah, I'm gonna pull for um, Brave Camilla because I like Camilla as well. For those of you, anyway, as you can tell by my plus ten Camilla. Let's see, back and stop. Uh, let's go here. So we're, we're summoning on green, which is basically perfect on this banner because, um, like I said, we could use fall merges and echidna merges as well as like just getting her. Um, Brave Micaiah merges are not so important that I'd want to spend orbs on them, mind you. Uh, but certainly uh, having extra merges on her would be pretty nice, especially given that she's due for a weapon refine soon. Maybe not soon, maybe like halfway through this year, I don't know, at some point. Um, which I think will make her stronger, but it won't make her stronger to the point where you want her to like a plus 10 or something, right? Like, I, I think it'll give her more utility, because if we look here, let's go back here. Because basically, what is what does she do? Basically, um, Micaiah's entire thing is, is this, which I use her for, is dropping everybody... Basically, it's a sabotage attack speed, right? It's, I mean, that's kind of dumb. Um, but if she gets a weapon refine, I'm not sure what you would give her here. I, I had an idea. I think, I forgot what it was. I think it was like a broadleaf idea. I don't know. It was a really good idea, <laughs> basically, just uh, you know, uh, take my word for it. I think it was like, I was thinking maybe doubling, like the way, uh, what's that? Uh, what's that? Um, like Unity, right? Or, or Bike's weapon. Kind of like doubling down the debuffs on the enemy and then doubling up the the bonuses you get from their penalties something like that but that'd be kind of interesting uh, but anyway uh she's just here to basically be effective against uh horses and and armors and kind of be a res tank uh with this and that's kind of basically her whole thing and and bridal makaya funnily enough does the same thing basically um yeah bridal makaya does the same thing basically but you know She's just a, a different color, and basically, the thing with Bridal Makaya, she's overshadowed a lot by the fact that, well, she doesn't have Yoon's Whispers, for one, um, but two, she doesn't have, uh, Bridal Makaya has the, the duo skill, which kind of overshadows everything that Bridal Makaya can do, which is basically be a good res tanker, and also be uh, good at wiping out, like, tanks and horses and whatnot. So, yeah. I'll be right back. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna, yeah, like I said, I think they're just gonna add to part of her, like, utility with her refine, like, it's just gonna kind of make her, um, give her a general, like, boost, but I don't think, given with, you know, once she gets her refine, she's suddenly gonna be like, oh, you need a plus 10 version of her or something like that, right, that's not, I don't think that's gonna happen, um, someone who might benefit from that, for those of you who are looking, you know, again, I don't, you know, I really wouldn't recommend, uh, pulling, for like a future like oh we're fine hoping it's good but if you were going to do that it would probably be alm who you know alm at a plus 10 with his new refine that he's going to get is probably going to be really dumb um 
but like I said, you know, don't don't uh, pull kind of with that mentality going forward. Um, this gives him attack based on whatever. Like if he gets, I mean, basically the only thing he could get, which I don't think he will, but he may, uh, is like distant counter in his weapon because the fact that he has this strong um, a scale means he can't run distant counter, and that's basically all his his kit is missing. Um, yeah, right. So, I mean, the only way to really make this worthwhile would be to give him uh, uh, a disencounter here, but I don't think that's going to happen. Probably just give him, like, keep the effectiveness, this attack here. Uh, just give him, like, an unconditional plus 5 and disencounter and you'll be fine. Or maybe, yeah, or maybe you could even just, like, keep the condition for the plus 5 to everything and then just add disencounter into that, where that condition has to be met to get both this disencounter and this. Um, who knows? Like I said, I mean, I wouldn't, like, gamble on, like, oh, I'm going to plus 10 him now because his refine's going to be ridiculous because, it, you know, it's probably going to be good. I mean, there's always a one unit that's, like, a hardcore carry out of all the refines. Um, but whether he'll, like, live up to the, um, to the like, whether he'll live up to the investment of orbs you put in um, for that, you know, it's yet to be determined. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Uh, there we go. Uh, this one's last, like I said. We are looking at this one here now. Uh, the only thing I want from this is Brave Lysithia because she has got a uh, low speed res and, and this, and that's basically like, you know, most mages can use this. Um, <laughs> yeah, a lot of mages can make really good use of that. Uh, Dimitri doesn't really have anything other than this and this, uh, but I mean, that's whatever. I really wouldn't, I don't pull for him. I don't really want him necessarily. Uh, I know this is very strong. But I, you know, I just can't be asked. Uh, Brave Claude here only really has this and and this and you know, we've we've gotten a lot of rains now, so it's not that big a deal. Like when he came out, I, I pulled for him because I was like, oh well, you know, this is the first one that's come out. I kind of really want this uh, right now, uh, and I was all right with the decision I made and and you know going forward. But you know, I don't need that. I don't need this anymore. And you know, pulling for him is going to be kind of a waste. Uh, Edelgard, of course, I like Edelgard. She's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so hopefully uh, I kind of avoid getting any idle guards because I'll, I'll, I mean, I'll use her, but I'll kind of reluctantly use her. Use it just because I have her, not necessarily because I really wanted her. Um, so like I said, let, let's pull on red here. So if not red, we're going for uh, colorless because, like I said, while Claude, I'm not going to like go after him. He has the best, like, solo fodder. Like, if I get him by himself, he's going to have the best fodder for him by himself. Just because I can give someone either Fury 4 or uh, an attack defense rain. Now, we're not getting any reds, so that's kind of annoying. I'm not sure what's up with that. There's Felicia. I actually don't know how, much, how, much, uh, how big my barracks is right now. Fortunately, we get that barracks upgrade, so <laughs> that'll be... Uh, That'll be nice, uh, not have to like just manual everyone. I really need to go through my barracks and like, cause some manuals are, are literally useless. They don't have anything. They don't like contribute any skills, right? Cause I mean, all, all manuals might end up being useful at some point, but some of them don't. And like, I don't have the, the time to be like, oh, how much of this do I have? How much of that should I fought of it? But at some point I'm gonna go through and just kind of like uh, turn a bunch of manuals into feathers just for, just cause I mean, feathers are more useful than having a bunch of useless manuals. That uh, won't do anything in the in the in the um, in your barracks. Uh, back and stop. And last one. Okay. So it's looking like we didn't get a brave Lysithia, which is fine. Um, come on. Nope. Okay. Uh, here's uh, that new Morgan refine. It's pretty good, I hear. So there we go. Uh, so basically, this up this show or the show this uh, this video, uh, if you'd allow me. Uh, this video was mainly to um, pull on this. So for those of you who saw that other video where I summoned on Vector's like rerun banner, uh, he had a 4% chance on that banner. Um, and now he's got a 5% chance. Now we've, we do have a 3% chance of getting off banner, but that, that's fine because um, basically getting that 3% one is, is not... Um, it's like you wouldn't have got that if it... You know, if, if we just like chopped it off and put it somewhere else. So it's just kind of like 5% chance to get what you want and then, you know, 3% chance to get something else. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. Um, special rate here. 
this one is what I wanted to point out last time. I pointed it out last time as well, but I don't know if I communicated it properly. Um, it, it's not like pulling for Vector is now 8% because of this special rate. Um, because not only do you have to just pull the special rate, but you have to like get the one you want. Um, so yeah, I mean, it, like I said, it's not like 8%, but it's like, it's more than, than, than 5, right? Basically, it, it is what it comes down to. It's more than 5. So I am going to pull and try to see if I can get another Vector. Um, we're going to see how far we can get, uh, and of course we didn't get any. Now, one of the, one of the things that I was going to mention, I should have mentioned before we came in here, just to make it a little clear. Um, I also would like some, um, Brave Celica merges. Now, I will, like I said, I'm not going to go out of my way to get a bunch of Brave Celica merges, but I really do like, uh, Brave Celica and her weapon, uh, and her weapon. Yeah, just her stat line, her weapon, just everything about Brave Celica. Uh, it's really interesting to me. Now, Double Lion is fine, but it's not like... I think, like, if I were to have a plus 10 Brave Celica with her weapon refine and everything, I think I might just drop this for something like a uh, Spurn or something like that. Uh, so that's something to consider. Is Like I said, it's like I like her. I like her refine. Uh, I like I like her, her stat line. Uh, her speed is really good. Uh, but this, um, this isn't, like, exactly... This isn't the reason I'm pulling for her, because... Uh, for one, this only works when you're initiating, and it only works when you're at full health. Um, so yeah, it, it makes her really aggressive when she can kind of do both a little bit, so... Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so like I said, if we don't get any vectors, um, hopefully we get some... Some, uh, maybe some of her. I don't know if I'm going to spend all my orbs on this. Theoretically, I mean, last time it was like 80 orbs for two copies of vector. Given that we have, uh not only higher rates here, but also uh, these tickets. Hopefully we can get one Vector in less than like, you know, on average 80 orbs is what I'm, is what my, my, my main goal is here is, um, but it's already taking a longer, I mean, we, you know, we pulled all five tickets last time for every other banner, we pulled all five tickets and we didn't get anything. <laughs> so at this point, I'm kind of just like assuming we're not gonna get anything. Uh, so here we go, we got three blues, hopefully we get something. Nope. Uh, let's pull this one. But yeah, um, more mergers on Vector is always good. Uh, Vector is just kind of dumb. The only thing I need for Vector right now, Vector's got um, what's that? Uh, he's got Pulse Smoke in the C slot, uh, which is it's fine. But uh, I'm gonna just pull on this red one. Hopefully, I don't get pity broken by Celica unless it's like a, a special four star version of her. Hopefully this is a speed boon, because I, I messed up and I gave her an attack boon like an idiot. Yeah, she's got HP. So I've been looking for another uh, Tharja with a, with a speed boon, and we'll stop. Um, but yeah, so we, so far we've pulled uh, all these tickets, and we've gotten quite literally nothing. Um, so that kind of sucks. Back and stop. Okay, so we're out of tickets. So uh, all my tickets for Golden Week uh, have been a waste. There we go. I was just waiting for that because uh, I felt like it was going to give me something. So I guess we're just going to get one Vector out of this and leave. Um, because these rates are pretty bad. I don't know what's going on, but, you know, they're pretty atrocious today. Back and stop. Like, I mean, okay, so like, right... I didn't expect one to get one in less than 80 orbs, right? Because, oh, you know, less than 40, right? We'll, 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 we'll cup it out at 40 if I don't get one, and I'll be right back. If, but if I don't get one within, like, 40 orbs, then I can start, like, complaining. But right now, we're, we're, I mean, you know, you expect to lose some orbs. I mean, what, did you think I, did, that I think I was going to, like, get them in, like, five pulls or something? I mean, you know, it's not exactly uh, how the raids work, but, yeah, it's uh, something to consider. But uh, I'll be right back in one second. Okay, so here we are. Um, so, yeah, uh, like I said... We're not at the point where the rates are screwing us yet. I mean, this is just kind of a normal, like, what it's like to summon. And we got a four-star focus, uh, funnily enough. Uh, fortunately, it wasn't uh, Bector, which would have been really nice, because not only did, would, we, would we have gotten a Bector, but we didn't reset our pity, so we can just get another Bector. But it's all right. Uh, these four-star, I mean, that's what makes these four-star things so fun, is you never know what you're going to get um, or who you're going to get. Uh, so we've got, we've got the uh, other uh, blue... Oh, uh, Thunderhead, whatever, what it was called, Dire Thunder? Yeah, the other <laughs> blue Dire Thunder user. Um, I think she, I'm not sure, I don't remember. I think she got a, uh, 
Yeah, I think she got a resplendent all. I didn't pick that one up because I didn't, at the time I didn't really care. Uh, let's pull here. So we're getting kind of uh, jobbed here on blue orbs. Ileana, there's more. So I, I kind of wanted to um, merge up Ileana. I mean, I'll, I'll have them there just to have them there, but um, I don't know if I'm going to build her up just because I've already got... Oof, this is bad. Uh, I think I'm going to get pretty broken on this, which is going to suck. Oh, no, cool. Um, like I said, it, it's not... It's, it's kind of suboptimal to be investing in a unit like that because I've already got... Um, Brunya, but you know, still I think she'd be she'd be she could be kind of fun to use. I think we're just gonna pull this whole orb. Well, no, I really shouldn't. We'll, we'll see. Uh, if if one of these is uh it's Bector, I guess we'll just pull the whole orb, the whole uh, the whole circle. Oh my gosh, these rates are supposed to be better than the uh, than the other one that I did, and I feel like that other one was better than this one. Over a thousand years old. Yeah. Uh, I will stop. No, I won't pull on that. And we'll pull on red. If I get pity broken, I'm just gonna leave. I'm not gonna like. Oh, let's try to another. Try to get another, another pity for Vector. Okay, stop. Uh, so let's try this. Uh, of course, we keep getting no blues, even though that's all we're here for. Uh, merges on Veronica would be fine, but I don't use Veronica very much anymore, and I don't, like, have a cav line or anything like that, so it's not like, um, she's that useful, uh, outside of, like, having a cav line and just, oh, there we go, we got him, cool. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Uh, so how many orbs are we at? We started at, what, 215? Uh, 220? We'll, we'll round it up, make it 220. Um, so it took us, uh... It took us a few orbs to get here. It took, uh, what, 50-ish? So I think our rates are kind of decent. I mean, they're not... F I mean, 40 would have been fine because that's what we got last time, right? It was about one vector every 40 or uh, two every 80. But it's... I guess that one, in that sense, it was more like... Because I got one so early on that the second one was a little easier. Um, the second one came a little earlier. But, um, yeah. Oh, look, there's Veronica. This is kind of why you want to summon um, later. Let's see if we get this uh, this green dude. I think it's uh, I forgot what his name was Ephraim. Uh, the only reason I want Ephraim is because he's got special fighter, which could be useful. Uh, what do you have? You have speed. Uh, that's exactly what I need. I think. Well, she doesn't come with anything. I'm just gonna merge her into my other one. Uh, so let's see. We've got 135. I guess we'll just go in there. I mean, I don't have this that many orbs these days anyway. Uh, I probably should be saving for something. A lot better. Hey, look, it's Sateth, uh, the other uh, Camilla alternate you could be using. I probably should be saving for more important units, mind you, but uh, I just can't be asked right now. And especially because, I, like, I gotta save. Not only, like, do you want to save for the Bector, but you also have to save for the, um, what's that, uh, you know what it is, the uh, AR for save. I have to go, I have to save up orbs to, to pull that one whenever that comes back. Um... And basically, I'll have, like, a perfect vector. Like, could you imagine, like, a vector with AR far save backing up, like, uh, what's her name? Like, a, a Linja? That'd be ridiculous. Because Linja can go in as deep as she wants, take out three units, and then... Well, I mean, you know, she's still going to be hit by, like, um, regular, like, uh, close range units. So that that's always going to be a problem. But, uh, yeah, like, you know, vector... Would be, Depending on, like, a lot of times it's also 50-50 on, like, how many uh, range units versus close range units uh, there are on a, on a AR defense. So if, if, if you could find a way to, like, just get Linja in there and, like, snipe all the um, all the close range units and only have dis only have um, long range units uh, be around, then what you could do there is, uh, and my mouse is acting weird, uh, what you could do there is just, like, have Bector sit there with an AR defense her. I wonder when we're gonna get like these counter skills, right? Cause when, when oh, there we go, another Bector, cool. So we got him in what? Let's take a look at how many uh, orbs we have now. So I think I'm gonna save now and I'll pull, I'll try to get two more at, an, at another time. Um, a speed Bector, yeah, we'll make a, um, a Bector's got built-in doubles. Uh, so I have 90 orbs, so it took us about what? 
if we pretend, if we give it like the benefit of the doubt, and we started at two ten, because it was like two, I, I, I should have paid attention. It was like it was a little more than two ten. It was probably closer to two twenty, but we'll pretend like it's two ten. So if it did take us two ten, we're at about a hundred orbs. So it took us about one hundred and ten orbs to get uh, two vectors this time. Um, which isn't too bad because we also got a Veronica along the way, but Veronica's not really worth very much um, these days. And Ephraim, like I said, the only thing Ephraim has is Special Fighter, and you know, if I, I don't foresee any other units needing Special Fighter because I already got one on Vector and I got one on uh, Winter Cecilia. Uh, so other than that, I mean, I don't really see, foresee using it on anyone else. So let's go just merge these people up real quick. Uh, you guys are about to see. I mean, look at look, oh, this is what I was talking about last time. Where is oh, she's not here. I don't know where. Wait. Why? How come she's not here? Oh, I, I guess it's not. Oh, I know why. Here you go. I um, I organized this by obtained when I'm looking at um, looking through my stuff. Uh, let's go to blues. Here he is. So we're at plus four right now. We're gonna get him to a plus six. Let's see what we got here. Uh, what is he now? He'll end up with this one. Uh, this merge is really bad. Well, it's not really bad, it's just that, like, not... Like, getting speed off of a merge is always... It always feels bad. At least to me, it does anyway. Um, Let's just merge him. So the road to a plus 10 vector, uh, it continues on. Uh, let's see what we get out of this one. So we get HP and attack, which is good because there are some times where he has like trouble surviving. Um, uh, and sometimes when he has trouble uh, one-shotting, uh, if someone has like some sort of like, like if someone has like a special fighter type thing on them, like a guard or something, and he doesn't let uh, he doesn't let him charge the bonfire for the one shot. But there we go. So we got a plus six vector. Uh, who was I looking for? Veronica, we need Veronica as well, as well as my uh, Fa. So here she is, right? Plus two. Uh, and I only have one other copy of her uh, for some reason. But there she is. Uh, funnily, like I was thinking about using her, and um, certain other people like have invested in, in other units as well. And one of the interesting things is is people have invested, especially when you play Arena. You see a lot of plus ten. Um, I actually don't know his name. I only know the name of his sword. Uh, Mercurius is the sword. Oh, here he is. This guy. Astrum. Um, you see a lot of plus 10 Astrums, and Astrum basically does the same thing she does um, on her weapon. She's just there to give everyone and herself uh, the plus 5 visible buffs. Uh, but I like her refine more. Uh, it gives her some kill, uh, some kill potential. Uh... And the fact that she's a dragon is never really too bad either. And then we also have that green dual infantry. Now, am I going to put it on her? I, you know, am I going to pull for it? Probably not. But if I do get one, I mean, it'll be nice to have someone who can use that. And she can use it pretty well. Uh, so, yeah. Plus, I also just like Faye better than Astrum. Because I really can't be asked to like Astrum. Um, but, yeah. So, that's that. Um, what was the other thing? Oh, we got to merge up our little uh, Veronica down here. So I have oh I already had a speed Veronica, which is basically the what you want. Um, so you can secure the doubles. So you can secure doubles easier. Um Yeah, she doesn't have any fodder, so it's not like it'll do anything. And also this merge is garbage because I don't get attack or speed. Um as you can see here, uh, she has close counter. That's because I got her I've had her since the moment she was released, and she's just been sitting there and back then, right? Uh, she was on every team I had. Uh, no matter what content I was doing, she was basically there. And I figured, well, let's just give her uh, something to do when she gets attacked. And close counter was all that you know I could kind of think to give her. Uh, thinking back now, it's obviously a mistake. And it's something that uh, I wish I hadn't wasted a close counter on her. Uh, but it is what it is. You know, we're, at, uh, we're at a better place now. And uh, <laughs> you know, fretting over a close counter isn't, isn't really uh, beneficial to anyone at this point. Um, but yeah, like I said, I, I mean, I don't use her very much. Uh, she's very strong here and there wherever I do get to use her, but, um, I just don't use a whole lot of healers these days because I'll, you know, a lot of units, I'll, I'll need a dancer more than a healer, uh, and healers aren't really, like, they take up too much time to do their thing. The only healer I do use a lot is, 
Oh, actually, it's just merger, just so we're not left on that screen there. Uh, yeah, so HP and defense. Uh, but yeah, obviously, I'd probably give her, like, a... So, what I've been thinking a little bit is... Now, granted, the, the Wrathful Staff... No, the Dazzling Staff. The Dazzling Staff is very strong, because it doesn't let them get countered. But I've been thinking about, like, taking off... Oh, no, actually, she can't actually do that. Never mind. Uh, but there's some, there's some, there's some where it's like... Oh, I guess she's not here. There's some where it's like... Uh, I had, like, an idea there, but we'll not... Let's not pursue that for no reason. Um, the only healer I use these days is, in fact, uh, Erica. That's only because you can see here, she can run Armor March, and then I uh, keep her alongside... Uh, where is he? I keep her alongside Bector, right? So that way she he has all his mobility plus a healer if he needs it. Uh, and then on top of that, he's usually going to be the one with the highest uh, attack. So he gets plus 5 defense and res. And because of attack opening, he also gets a plus 6 to attack. Um, and then lastly, you don't get speed out of this, which is fine because he doesn't need speed. And two, one of the great things about Bector is that <laughs> uh, he can get panicked. Like if he gets panicked, it doesn't really matter. So you can just stack up all the buffs on him because his weapon... Or does it say? Clears penalties. Neutralizes units penalties during combat. So either he's getting the, the bonuses from the bonuses, or he's just breaking even anyway, right? So you can't lose what by putting uh you know stat bonuses on him. And having her having Erica carry so much weight by giving him movement, uh plus five defense and res and plus six to attack is it's kind of hard to like, you know, give up to say the least. So that's kind of why she's there with him all the time. For those and then especially for those of you who've seen my um Aether Raids runs. Um, but yeah, we got a plus 6 Vector. Um, slowly inching our way towards uh, plus 10. Being that he's an older unit, um, hopefully we'll get, you know, a merge somewhere along the line. Um, hopefully we'll get, like, you know, somewhere we'll get it. We'll get him out of the um, the special rate, whatever, the 4 stars. Uh, and then after that, maybe, you know, I I'm sure his banners and his revival banner is going to be coming up a lot. I feel like I've seen it quite a few times already. And it'll probably just be coming, cycling in and out. And, you know, we'll see where we are in terms of orbs, and I'll see if I want to pull for him. Um, but yeah, so, you know, it's good to have some orbs in reserve. Uh, again, I'm not going to, like... If something comes out that's really important, I'm probably not going to have enough orbs for it anyway. Um, but it's nice to be a little bit prepared and not just kind of blow it all for nothing. Um, yeah, so... Hopefully you guys uh, <laughs> had better luck with your tickets than I did. Um... Better luck on uh, this banners, on all these banners, and, you know, got a lot of orbs coming up. I think my, my favorite thing about these events is always getting uh, grails, because we never have enough grails. Oh, look, I have enough to get her, so I'm just going to, we'll just do that while I'm here. Because uh, never, obviously, there's never enough grails. Um, you can always use more. Not that, like, I think they should increase the rate. I think the rate we're getting them is decent, uh, because there's a, there's a point where it's like, you get all of them, and then you start, you know, merging up all the heroes, and you get bottlenecked by feathers anyway. Uh, so I think, you know, it's not too big a deal uh, that we don't get so many. It's just, you know, it's always good to have more fe uh, more grails. So when these events come out, I'm always more happy, excited to see the, the grails come in. Uh, where are we looking at here? So let's, uh, let's boost her up here. I think I'm at a plus... I'm not sure. Plus six. Let's go look at her. Uh, also, we're probably uh, theoretically we should be getting uh, another copy of her from the the temporary divine codes or whatever. So that's pretty cool. Uh, for those of us who didn't like <laughs> blow everything on the on merging her and she came out. So at a plus six, theoretically, when the next uh, you know batch of temporary uh, papers comes out, she'll be plus seven. Uh, and then you know just a little bit more to get the the plus ten, basically. Uh, so yeah, let's get in here and uh, plus six her. Unfortunately, one of the problems with my approach to this, or not, well, not necessarily my approach, like I decided to go this way, to do it this way, um, I just didn't, you know, didn't have the grails to do it, uh, to just plus 10 her early, but unfortunately the problem with not having it done early means that you're going to get less use out of her, right? So by the time I finish her, we're probably going to get another unit that's probably going to do what she does better, and it's going to raise, like... It's not going to affect me necessarily too much because it's like, oh, if another unit comes out that does what she does better, I'm not going to pull for that. I'm not going to care very much for that unit unless, like, 
they they appeal to me the same way um you know uh ninja hana does um but the problem is when a unit like that comes out and makes it easier for people to score higher it does raise the score like ceiling a little bit so that it knocks people like me out so the point being that when that new unit comes out she's going to be less considerably less useful and probably oof how long has that been like that hopefully you guys can see that bottom part from what it looks like on my screen on my preview screen it's not capturing that which is kind of sad <laughs> i don't know what's up with that not that there's anything that important down there it's just the buttons but I just noticed that, I don't know, kind of stupid. Anyway, uh, good luck uh, summoning and all that stuff. Uh, hopefully, um, you know, look forward to stuff uh, going forward. Uh, the new character for Epic 7 uh, looks pretty interesting, so when she comes out, I'll probably summon for her. Uh, and then I'll let you guys know what um, looks interesting going forward in this game as well. Um, yeah, I mean, that's it. And, you know, for those of you who are stuck in, who are sticking around this long, I guess, thanks. And, uh, Hopefully no one's too put off by the uh, Darkest Dungeon <laughs> gameplay I've been putting up recently. Uh, I might put another episode out today, um, but this might take today's upload and I'll do, do something tomorrow. I'll probably do the rest tomorrow, but I'm not sure. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's that.